Are chemical reactions useful or harmful? Do not use if puffed. Hmm, why is that? That's because a puffed pack means the milk is spoiled. Microorganisms start growing in the milk and release acids which react with the milk proteins. As a result of this chemical reaction, liquid milk curdles into a semi-solid form releasing gases. The carton then gets puffed up and gives a foul odor to the spoiled milk. How do you know something is a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction results in a change in state, a change in color, the evolution of a gas or a change in temperature of the reactants. Let us take another example. Rust is the product of a chemical reaction between iron and oxygen. Rusted iron articles get corroded and break easily. So we can say spoilage of milk and rusting are undesirable chemical reactions. Can you think of a useful chemical reaction? All physiological processes such as respiration, digestion, photosynthesis are a series of biochemical reactions. Note that naturally occurring chemical reactions do not need any special conditions to be created and they take place at a slow pace. For example, rhizobium bacteria in the nodules of a leguminous plant convert atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia and nitrate at normal temperature and pressure conditions. But to replicate the same reaction in an industrial process, extreme conditions are required. In such a setting, hydrogen and nitrogen combine in the presence of a catalyst at high temperature and pressure to produce ammonia which is used to make nitrogen fertilizers. This is called the Haber's process. Several chemical reactions are used in industries to manufacture products for our use, such as agricultural chemicals, pharmaceuticals, steel, paint, paper and so on. Calcium carbonate decomposes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide on heating to form calcium oxide, also called lime or quicklime. Calcium oxide is used in the manufacturing of cement and many other industrial processes as well. Methane gas and oxygen gas combine exothermically in this double displacement reaction to produce carbon dioxide gas, water vapor and a lot of energy. Methane is released during the decomposition of organic waste, oil and natural gas production. All of these processes are crucial for the economy, aren't they? But as you saw, the combustion of methane releases a large amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, leading to global warming. So what can we do? Well, think of a chemical reaction that uses up the atmospheric carbon dioxide and converts it into something beneficial. The answer of course is photosynthesis, which is the only source of oxygen on the earth and the primary source of food for all heterotrophs. Therefore. Conserving the forest cover and planting more trees will reduce the proportion of carbon dioxide in the air. So, many natural processes and human actions may cause harmful and undesirable chemical processes. But a good knowledge of different types of chemical reactions helps us produce useful things in our industries and also to restore the balance in nature. <laughs>